welcome to bettingnews.boilsports.com. I'm Leon Blanche and I'm delighted to be joined by our entertainment spokesperson, Nicola McGeady. Hello, Nicola. Hi, Leon. Nicola, the X Factor starting to hot up um, a little bit, but still Wagner, that detestable looking man, <laughs> is still involved in the X Factor. But it was a bit of a shock that he stayed in. Bellamy, unfortunately for Irish girl uh, Rebecca, she lost out with her ban. But how has it affected the outright betting? The favourite match wasn't at his best this week. He wasn't. His odds have drifted. He was like six to four at one stage, which is really short price. He's now gone out to two to one. It's between Matt, Rebecca, and One Direction at the moment. One Direction are eleven to four, and Rebecca. Well, she was fantastic yeah. on the night. She was better than both of them, I would say, and she was three to one. Simon kind of said that he reminds her of Leona Lewis. How she started off in the X Factor slowly but yeah. surely gets more confidence and then comes out in herself. Yeah, I said that before, Simon. You did. So. You did. You did. You you should, uh, I mean, you should be on the X Factor, oh, Nicola, you know. Well, but anyway. looking at Rebecca, can she sing young songs? Is that the question? Yeah, I think she's got a very distinct, distinguished voice, and I think that suits her. They shouldn't try and make her sing other songs, you know, and try and put her in different situations. That's her area, and she should stick to what she's best at. Cher Lloyd, now she was somebody who definitely. She stole her the off. show, come yeah. on. She was the best performer of the night. She was, and I'm not a big fan with all the faces she tends to pull, but she's now gone from 11 to 2. She was 14 to 1. So wow, that's a big, big, yeah, big price move. A lot of punters getting behind Cher after her performance of uh, Stay. Simon said it was the performance of the whole series. Don't think so. Yeah, I wonder, like, you know, Simon obviously has a soft spot for Cheryl. And he seems to promote her acts, even to the extent of his own acts at times. Yeah. What's going on there? Well, I think he has a soft spot for Cher as well. He sees money there with Cher. He knows she's going to be the next big thing if they do her upright and give her all the right songs. Yeah. That's where the money's going to be made. And Simon, that's all Simon sees. He doesn't really <laughs> care about his own next acts. As you've seen with Bellamy, he didn't give them much attention at all. So has your opinion... One Direction are very good. I see people are comparing them now with Take That and how they were when they first started yeah. off. Obviously, we've got an Irish interest there, the young lad Niall from Mullingar, so best of luck to him. But has your opinion changed on who will actually win this year's X Factor? I thought I still think it's going to be Matt. Everyone's entitled to an off week. Rebecca still hasn't had an off week, and if she continues the way um, she's going, she could easily win it. Matt, he doesn't. He can't really mess up again. Yep. Um, he has a lot of fans out there, and he doesn't want to disappoint. One Direction's always going to have so many fans out there. All the girls absolutely love them. Yep. So I can see the three of them in the final. Mary Byrne, she's drifting out to twenty to one. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mary. Like we had, like when Mary started off, she was quite good. But is she going to be classed now? as a little bit of a one-trick pony. Yeah, I think it was. Everyone was getting behind her. They loved her story. They loved the fact that the 50-year-old woman wasn't yeah. giving up her dreams. And she is a fantastic singer. She's great at what she does, but she's not modern enough for the X Factor, and I don't think she's going to win it. So now we're going to switch on to next elimination. Yeah. As we mentioned, Wagner, he's still in there, which, as a singing competition, he should have been the first one out, really. Um, he hasn't got a note in his head. I can't even understand what he's singing. No. Um, Will he go this week, or is that campaign of people out there who said they're going to vote for Wagner to win the X Factor, will that keep him in ahead of the likes of Tracy and Katie, who I feel are starting to show plenty of weaknesses? Well, he's a 9-4 favourite at this early stage, but it'll depend on where the money's going. Right behind him, then, is Tracy and Katie, both 3-1. to one. You're very right. They aren't connecting with their audiences. They're not great. They're not very memorable. Um... So, Simon made a comment that I think it was Tracy she's not connecting with Cheryl, Cheryl or something like that they haven't like got that. much of a bond yeah Cheryl's clearly looking after Cher Lloyd over everybody else Cheryl loves her uh, like last year she had a soft spot for Joe so it's kind of unfair in the contestants but I just don't see them two doing very well next week Paige again he seems to actually be getting stronger I yeah thought. I thought actually and even his appearance looked more like him this yeah, week yeah exactly he's getting after stronger after Simon giving him um, uh, fashion abuse, tips which yeah. yeah, which wouldn't go down too well because Simon wouldn't know how to dress himself if he was paid to really <laughs> that's true that's very true so, so I think Paige actually is safe enough for the moment, um, I wouldn't be backing him. Maybe Aidan Grimshaw, 10 to 1 for a valuable bet. He messed up again this week. He did a terrible yeah, song. Michael thriller. Jackson, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, he shouldn't have spoiled such an iconic song. He couldn't pull it off. And that's two bad performances on the trot. And now we're all, of course, looking forward to the final. We've got 10 contestants left in there. It's going to be a final three. I know you've mentioned the likes of Matt, One Direction and Rebecca and Cher, obviously as being the kind of front runners. But out of those four... 
which one of those is most likely to miss out on the final? I think to miss out it would be Cher. She's 11 really? to 8, but I think she's the most valuable bet as well to be in the top three. Rebecca's 8 to 15, Matt is 1 to 5, One Direction are 3 to 10, and Cher is the biggest price there out of those lot at 11 to 8. It is a new market we've opened up on to make the final three, so, and there's some big prices and money to be made. And say somebody, like I know you'd mentioned Paige, who had a very good performance this week. Aiden, I know he's had a couple of bad performances, but he is a good singer. But... Even though he had terrible performances, I thought he was in trouble this weekend. Mm, he so seems to have plenty of fans that are keeping him in the X Factor, believing maybe that he will come with one big performance. Yeah, people are just, they know, they've seen us from this live show. It was fantastic. He sang Mad World. And people are still hanging on to that and believing him and are voting for him and hoping he'll pull something out of the bag. So I think next week's his last chance. And before I let you go, who's going to win it all? Matt Cardle. She's sticking with the favourite 2-1 to one Matt. That's our X Factor weekly update.